Guys, in this shot, let's try to understand what is structure padding. Without the use of structure padding, the members of this simple structure will be stored in the contiguous memory locations. A 32-bit processor is capable of reading 4 bytes at a time. Now in this setup, to read member C, the processor need to consume 2 CPU cycles. Here the problem is, to read 4 bytes, which is possible to read in 1 CPU cycle by a 32-bit processor, still we need 2 cycles, which is a waste of CPU cycle which is quite costly in some of the real-time applications and could increase the CPU latency. Due to this reason, the structure padding concept was introduced to save the number of CPU cycles. It aligns the data in the memory by adding one or more empty bytes between the structure members. By applying the padding, now you can see two empty bytes are added and integer member is shifted to the next align bytes. By this arrangement, now we need only one CPU cycle to read the integer member C 